Issue one on this year's ballot involves the terms, election, and eligibility of local elected officials. There are four parts to this proposal. First, this proposal would increase the length of office for an elected county official from two years to four years. If approved, county judges, clerks, sheriffs, treasurers, tax collectors, assessors, coroners, and county surveyors would have four-year terms starting in 2018. This change would not apply to justices of the peace who serve on the quorum court. Issue one would also prohibit all elected county officials from being appointed or elected to any other civil office at the same time. This proposal would apply to justices of the peace in addition to all the county offices I previously listed. The proposal doesn't define what a civil office is, but the court system in the past has defined it to mean a position that has the authority of the state to act or an office created by law within one of the three branches of government. It could also be an appointment or a position that requires you to take an oath of office. Some examples of a civil office include mayor, alderman, municipal judge, city attorney, a county parks and recreation commissioner, or even a county election commissioner or member of a drainage improvement district. Another thing this proposal would do if passed is allow legislators to pass laws that say unopposed candidates can be elected without the candidate's name appearing on the ballot, or in some cases, even without holding an election if there are no other offices or issues on the ballot. Finally, issue one would define infamous crime in the Constitution when talking about who can hold office. Currently, someone who's arrested for an infamous crime can't hold office. However, the Constitution doesn't define the term. Over the years, the courts have decided that the term infamous crime refers to someone convicted of a crime involving deceit or dishonesty or election fraud, but the Constitution still doesn't have a definition. Under the proposed amendment, an infamous crime would include a felony offense, abuse of office as defined under Arkansas law, tampering as defined under Arkansas law, or a misdemeanor offense involving an act of deceit, fraud, or false statement, including misdemeanor offenses related to the election process. Look to the Public Policy Center's voter guide on the ballot issues if you have more questions about issue one.